So, we have the Lakers against the Pelicans. An important matchup, of course, because the plane implications. And Anthony Davis back home hits the three-pointer end. Good God, this was a slaughter. This was a goddamn slaughter. The defense of the Lakers has been so good since the All-Star break has, you know, ended. And Anthony Davis is at the middle of it. And D'Angelo Russell has been hooping. They, he, he has been also defending better, which is odd. Because, well, him and Malik Beasley are not the defenders, but... I don't know, man. It's just working so far, and it looks really good. Dilo with another tough step back three pointer, and of course the three point shooting has been so much better because well, Malik Beasley <laughs> when he gets hot, just like he did here in the second quarter. I mean, there is not much you can do, and the chaos they were able to create with these fast breaks, man. And the Pelicans also just look so hopeless, man. It feels like all these injuries and everything that went wrong for them throughout December and January just took the soul out of them. Malik Beasley again, he had 18 points here and there's not much more I need to show you because it was mostly all of this and the second half felt like, you know, they just had to finish the game, of course. And, well, Anthony Davis at 35 and 17, spectacular. He is the anchor of that defense and with Jared Vanderbilt roaming around, Troy Brown roaming around, you just have better, bigger bodies, more lengthier bodies, even D'Lo has more length, right? Malik Beasley, even though he's obviously not a good defender, he has the length and size at least. Well, length, more of a, a wingspan, right? And it just looks really good, man. And if you add LeBron into this occasion, it could be something. But my problem is that everyone chimes them in as contenders. And I'm asking, when was the last time we saw LeBron and AD be healthy for, you know, a month together? Let alone two and a half months in the playoffs, right? And as much as I like how they're doing, I just don't see them being able to stay healthy. I just don't. On paper, this team could do something if they are healthy. And it's still not a given. They do have the blueprint with the defense. And the offense could should be good enough. But I just feel like, you know, I just can't trust them to be healthy. I just need to see it. You know, it's more, more of it. I need to see it to believe it. Because... No matter how you want to say it, when has, when has been the last time both of these guys had played two and a half months, you know, pain-free or injury-free? Of course, in playoffs, you're going to play through some injuries, but I mean, that's also going to linger you, right? And Anthony Davis has been healthy so far right now, but I don't know, man. I, I hope, you know, they are healthy. I, of course, do, but I'm just going to be skeptical until I see it. Um, I don't hope I'm proven right. I mean... I don't hope I'm proven wrong also, because I don't want to see the Lakers winning, especially, you know, I just I just hate the privilege of the Lakers fans, but I mean, I'm a Warriors fan that started to be a fan in 2014, so yeah, I guess I can't complain about privilege, right? So uh, it's a tough situation for me, because the world resolves around me. <laughs> yeah, really great from the Lakers, man. Their defense has been one of the best in the league since the All-Star break, like I said, and it looks really good thanks to... Uh, I just gotta give a lot of love to AD. He has always tried to make this defense work, no matter the personnel. He was always the engine of the defense, and now with a better personnel around him, the defense just looks nice. And... They have a pretty favorable schedule, in my opinion, when you look at their remaining games. So, yeah, they're probably going to make the playoffs. We'll see what seed and if they have to go through the plan, though. As for the Pels, uh, yeah, they're not making the playoffs unless Zion magically comes back, which seems unlikely at this point. CJ also still dealing with the thumb injury, which I feel like at this point you should shut him down, honestly. Honestly, just play Dyson Daniels and... Take your losses this season, because the team is mentally also just too uh, clocked out, in my opinion. But, hey, next season should be better, hopefully. Well, with injuries, you never know, but I, I, I hope they are due next year. 